Hi YouTube and welcome back to Angelic Soul 11. I did already pre-shuffle the cards, but as you know, I always shuffle with you as well. This is for the new moon in September 28, 2019 in Libra. Okay, although this is a new moon in Libra reading, we know that time is not linear. So anytime that you click on this video will be when you need to hear this message. This is a collective reading. Therefore, the energies can be vice versa. It can be you. It could be someone else that you intertwine with, such as a lover or a family member or co-worker or wherever the story may fit. I ask that you take what resonates and what leave behind what doesn't resonate. If bits and pieces of it resonate, then only bits and pieces were your message. If it all resonates with you, then this was definitely for you. Okay? Do not hold tight to the gender of the cards. We all have masculine and feminine energies inside of ourselves. Therefore, you know, if I say he or she, it can be, you know, um, feminine or masculine energy I'm speaking about, not necessarily male or female, okay? So we're going to get right into it. Um, I, I did ask Spirit of the Most High to please guide us in this collective reading for September 28th. 2019 new moon in Libra what collective message do we have for this new moon in Libra September 28 spirit what message do we have for the collective September 28, 2019, Moon in Libra. Lots of balance is going to be um, coming in order. And if I'm not mistaken, October 3rd, um, we will have Pluto going direct. That Pluto is in Capricorn right now. And Pluto is all about... <laughs> like I'm doing um, through karmas and everything. So definitely this week will be like tying up the loose ends on any karmic relationships, any karmas within yourself, genetically or whatever it may have you. Um, you can definitely find yourself this week um, really doing the last cleaning up on those karmic situations okay so that's a beautiful energy to look forward to for those of you that already cleared up all those karmas it was, it's pretty much just going to be a time to start receiving the benefits of your blessings from doing the work and releasing those karmas for those of you that are um still doing that cleaning up you will reap your rewards once you clean house so that's awesome we do currently have um mercury and venus um in the sign of libra as well so a lot of um balance a lot of love energy um the house of partnership so this new moon is really gonna feel a lot more um romantic a lot more it's uh, uh, representing an expression of love, okay, and the things that you value, the people that you value, the um, mental constructs that you value, whatever it may be, okay, um, it's really going to be a time of unity and balance is what I'm getting. So this is super exciting. It feels really gentle. It feels really nurturing um yeah it may be emotional for some of you but not as emotional as like the last full moon in pisces that we just had um i'm really strongly feeling like this is gonna be a time of like even harmonizing like career relationships um, those type of partnerships that ring true to your spirit, ring true to your mission and your goals, okay? Um, 
allowing yourself to put the boundaries where needing and dropping the restrictions where needed and that that even scale okay of give and take okay so that is really really beautiful i'm super excited spirit let's go what messages do we have for the collective For this new moon in Libra, 2019, September 28th, new moon in Libra. I did almost see the lover's card try to pop out, so I wouldn't really be surprised, or even if the justice card comes out. Spirit, what message do you have for the collective, September 28th, 2019? New moon in Libra. Yeah, see, this is beautiful here. Let's see. Any other messages for the collective? For this new moon in Libra, September 28, 2019. There we go. What other messages do we have? That's a lot of cards. I'm not going to take all of those. I will take this one. Sorry. I listened to my intuition. Even though it came out in reverse, I really felt like it was supposed to be upright. One more time. What other messages do you have for the collective for this new moon in Libra? This card really wants to come out, so I'm definitely going to take it out. It's so beautiful. All right. Beautiful. All right. So in the bottom of the deck, we do have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse here, okay? So for that, it's still very much about changes and good things. I just feel like um, for some of you, okay, that's just symbolizing the need to let go, okay? Because the cards we have in front of us are so, so beautiful, okay? So for some of you, that's just more so, I'm sorry, my nail is kind of like chipped, so anyways. With the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, this tells me that um, for some of you, it may have been f feeling like a, a delay um, and you're moving forward, um, but that's simply because you're you're still catching up this week with releasing those karmas okay for some of you it could just be a delay in um you receiving the blessings that you need because of divine timing like don't rush your process you might need to kind of take a step few steps back just a moment and keep doing what it is that you're doing before actually reaping the benefits of those rewards because those benefits of, of, of all the work that you have done is supposed to come in divine timing so it's not that it's gonna it's not gonna come at all it just may be needing to come a little bit after like this new moon I don't feel like that's for everyone I do feel like that's only for like a selective few of you okay so don't get so caught up on that. The first card that came out, we have the Hermit in reverse. So definitely makes total sense. We did just transition from one season to another and from one zodiac to another, you know, from summer to autumn, okay, um, from Virgo to Libra. And the Hermit card very much is the card of Virgo. So this is telling us now to kind of get out of hermit mode. You kind of got all your enlightenments already. You know, it's time for you to step out in your power, fully aware, fully conscious of those lessons that you needed to learn and, and knowing that they were no longer serving you. And growing in that awareness and stepping out and doing forth the action now, um, really having the passion to express your true self and share what it is that you have inside of your heart, inside of your soul, inside of your mind and your spirit here, okay? So that's very, very beautiful here. Really 
um, a lot of light energy, a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge, um, a lot of creative energies here, okay, for some of you. Like, you really needed to be in that meditative state to really gain some clarity, gain some answers, and really tap back into your light so that you can come back um, as a creative person for your projects here, okay? Um, this is the princess, which is a page of wands, okay? And this is all also about like studying, but studying that of like spirituality or, so you might've been in a place of like met, deep meditation, whereas like now you're getting into studies here, okay? Or getting into the practice or the balance of digesting everything that you've been studying and digesting all your meditations and taking the action with passion with with a lot of power and strength here okay so this is also a very youthful energy a youthful card here so it may be getting into new practices getting into new studies here um for your new journey your new beginning coming in this new moon so it's really really beautiful i really do feel like it's a time of balance of celebration of um really just coming together and harmonizing here we have the three of cups here and for some of you it may be that you are celebrating um a new baby coming in here okay um and i'll explain that a little bit more for some of you here um and for some of you it's just you know um there were some some things in regards to business that you had to allow yourself to start putting out there some projects and celebrating in regards to that like you did your deep meditation you strategized you allowed yourself to gain the solutions and you found the solutions and then you you put forth the action to those solutions and you're gonna actually be celebrating now coming this new moon in libra and and moving forward for some of you this is a like a reunion a celebration um you know with friends with family for some of you it can very well be um you know just reconnecting with your lover in a more deeper passionate way okay in a more romantic way in an emotional way um and really addressing the next step in life the next step in things okay and this is just kind of the energy that i'm getting from this card i don't always get that energy but i'm feeling a lot of like abundance okay a lot of um fertility energy a lot of prosperity here um like the unlo the unfolding of the lotus flower okay and then we have the empress here which is divine feminine energy it is venus energy which libra is um venus rules over libra okay it is the house of partnerships so really just that that unity okay coming together and really just being successful in your projects, being successful in your love. Like I said, this is also fertility energy, taking things to the next level, whatever it may be. This is a very prosperous energy here, especially with these two cards in front here. Like the coming together, that fertile energy, you know, this can be adding another family member, okay, into, into, into your life this can be you know that project whatever whatever it is is gonna be successful it's gonna be abundant it's gonna be fruitful okay you're gonna reap the benefits and this is a very positive reading like it feels really 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 good and then we do have this new beginning here we have this clarity we have this sharp edge like yes you've cut the cords of anything that was no longer serving you and you really went in with a clear mind, a clear consciousness into your new journey, into being a clear headed, not just emotional, but really um, in balance, right? Because this is air element as well, okay? And Libra is an air element. 
So really coming into this Libra season with what it is that you truly love and value and really being honest with yourself and others, really being clear minded, okay, on what it is. The shadow, the shadow side of Libra energy tends to sometimes be like indecisive but if you're in um listening to this collective reading right now you're falling on the side of the balance scale where you will have clarity moving in to this new moon and forward here okay not really in the indecision because you've done the work you you've been in hermit mode all last you know maybe last virgo or last season whatever it may be for some of you okay and for others of you where you're like still tying up the loose ends you you may have seen like in this celebration how you're celebrating life more without the other person more kind of without that that karmic energy which is what allowed you to get clear-headed okay so for some of you that didn't cut those cords yet come this new moon you will gain the clarity to cut those cords all right and you will move forward so that you can reap the benefits of all that love that libra has for you okay i am gonna do some clarities normally i will reshuffle but i'm just gonna just grab from the top is really what i'm feeling like i should do so i really want to touch more damn i, I almost want to do all of them let's see what time 16 we can do i'm gonna do the princess of wands here first okay yeah yeah so for some of you this was definitely in regards to business and gaining that clarity here one more card spirit <laughs> can't make this up okay before i get into the empress okay so the cards that we have for the clarification of this princess of wands definitely feels work related um as far as like a project and your creativity going on here okay you might have came up with some major ideas get you know had preserved your energy really put putting things more into focus kind of perfecting your stuff because virgos can tend to be like you know the perfectionist in a sense right but really gaining that balance and that light and saying okay this is how i can perfect my craft and this is how i'm going to move about it so you start moving into your projects you start moving into your path you're super excited what it is that you are creating is very fertile i want you to keep that in mind okay however there may have been some resistance going on here whether this is competition petty arguments whatever it may be i feel like this is something that you're really leaving behind here okay um and it is in reference to work and toxicity here okay because we have the devil card and we have the eight of pentacles now the devil card is capricorn energy as well but the devil card isn't necessarily always a negative energy what i'm really getting here is the illumination of um not being restricted anymore to that which was no longer working out for you not being restricted to those competitions not really being restricted to those petty arguments and keeping forward in your business here okay because you have a lot of good creative um ideas okay a lot of good creative ideas that you're gonna really end up celebrating about and gaining clarity and being fruitful in here okay and like I said, um, for some of you, it was just like, yeah, I needed to let go of this strife. And this feels like, it doesn't even feel like it's more directed to one person. This feels like a group of people just having disagreements. So maybe you were having um, some disagreements with like your family and your friends while getting your projects done or um, really being challenged in your position and spirit is really saying like don't get caught up in that trap don't get caught up in the illusion that what that petty argument that petty strife 
is going to hold you back from your blessings. Like, look what you're all seeing eye and be truthful to yourself and honor this, your ideas, okay? And know that you are not bound to those people, okay? You are not bound to... And if it's not necessarily the people you have to let go, it could even be the ideas that maybe they were presenting to you were no good. Okay, and you're not bound to those ideas. In fact, you you're receiving you're receiving, excuse me, great insight, but it's you're gonna need to put in the work here, okay? You're gonna need to put in the work, but it's gonna come with lots of celebration and abundance here, okay? So really if you were seeing that, you know, this last, especially maybe after the, the full moon that just passed. Um, a lot of people were in their feelings, they were in their emotions, and, you know, there were a lot of, um, we recently did have um, T-squared, what was it, the sun, the moon, and Mercury? T-squaring, no, Saturn, okay, Saturn, T-squared, the sun and the moon, if I'm not mistaken. And that can cause for some of those petty arguments and restrictions to come in. And that could have been around that time. That was, if I'm not mistaken, that was last week. Okay, so I could be wrong. Okay, so don't chop off my head. But I'm pretty sure I felt a restrictive energy last week. I know Saturn did just go direct last week as well. but there were, And it felt really great, really full of stability but there was one day in particular where it kind of felt like it was um squaring both the sun and the moon okay um and that can cause some communications and arguments happening um communication issues and arguments to happen so maybe sometime last week there were like petty arguments and arrangements in reference to like the ideas that you have because these arguments they don't really feel love-based. They do feel career-based or like based on a project. Okay, so like they were challenging your position and your ideas and maybe even trying to sidetrack you from creating this idea or trying to delay your idea. Um, but Spirit is saying keep working on it. Spirit is saying keep working on it. You have the green light. You will be all the more prosperous for it. Even if you got to stand alone in your projects. Even if you got to stand alone in your projects. And people, let them watch you. Because they're going to watch. They are going to watch. This is so beautiful. So Spirit, what can you give us with the Empress? Yeah, yep. Okay, so we have a lot of... Um, you could be dealing with a Libra, um, I'm sorry, with a Leo, or you could be a Leo here. We also have like Aquarian energy here. Um, so we have, again, those petty arguments with the Empress here. We have like the feeling of defeat. The five of swords here is more so like doubting, um, doubting this pro doubting this fertility, doubting this blessing, doubting that it's going to be fruitful, maybe because of the ideas the other persons were giving you. OK, and like past nostalgic um, energy here, um, no longer looking at the past. OK, like maybe the, your past was defeating you before. And it's really like it really took you on a negative downturn of like how to communicate with your power, how to express your power, really doing it kind of like in a toxic way or um, this is not my narcissistic card, but for some reason I'm getting that. OK, so for some of you, this could have been like some petty arguments at home. Um or with somebody you're dealing with that is narcissistic in a way um, and spirit like but they're from your past and spirit is like let them go because they're just gonna keep causing you doubt when you know you're the empress 
<laughs> like they're not even a king sitting properly on their throne here. They're in reverse. And you are an empress, whether you are male or female, you are an empress sitting on top of your throne. All right. And there is no reason why you need to be feeling doubtful. Why? Because that's all meant to play. So it's like they were challenging your mind. Um, not really in a place of knowing how to properly communicate their emotions here. Okay. And really just coming out toxic with the way that they are dealing with their passion with the way because this is a very passionate king here okay but this can be a very angry king when he's in reverse this way not really in control of his um mars energy okay so this is um i guess i'm getting mars divine masculine energy um, in this case he wouldn't be in his divine masculine energy he would be in his lower masculine energy here okay because um, he's not really in control of his situation. He's not... Um, he was being manipulative. Whoever this king is in your situation was a very manipulative person who was not coming from a place of love and balance and harmony here, okay? Um, but coming from a very petty place, okay? A very petty mindset here. Not really being open to the pleasures of love and um, I'm hearing like a know-it-all, okay? I'm feeling like a know-it-all and this know-it-all um, was really trying to challenge you or may this may also if this hasn't happened already this can be someone that is going to try to challenge you okay um, because they'll see you sitting on your throne they'll see you prosperous they'll see you abundance okay and so they're really gonna just try to come and cause some petty arguments maybe out of jealousy okay wherever this may be whether this is in love or this is in um you're gonna be doing good here okay you're gonna be you're going to be on a, new, a whole new flow and a whole new mindset. And this is going to be, this is victorious as well. Like you're wearing your crown regardless of how this person feels or, you know, the petty strife that they're trying to bring in your life. You are going to be like, yo, no, like cut, cut. If you are not in truth and righteousness and fairness and my life moving forward, you are just not for me. Like I've gained the clarity to know that I don't need you <laughs> and to be by my side. I don't need you to agree with me. I don't need you to to manipulate me anymore okay or i'm not i don't need your your type of manipulation or i don't need your lack of control or your lack of empathy here because this person is not a very emotional person they are very not um they're not tapped into their divine masculine side here and this could also be maybe you know you not stepping into your power your divine masculine side to maybe be like more organizing you've been fighting yourself okay this can very much be you fighting yourself and your thought processes maybe you you were so used to being defeated before maybe you were so used to failing before that you know coming into some success abundance and prosperity almost feels too good to be true but when i tell you this is a beautiful beautiful like head um journey ahead this is beautiful okay and for some of you you may not even reap those rewards down this is what i'm getting with this so um there's an eclipse happening in capricorn season this december here so maybe all the hard work that you're putting in you may not really reap those rewards and celebrate it till around that that eclipse season here okay for some of you i'm also getting 
the last eclipses that we had or even the eclipse from the beginning of the year that was also in Capricorn where now you're seeing the fruits of thy labor on there and there's like some petty energies around you that's gonna be hating on your success. Because I see success. I see whether it's fertility, there's going to be maybe some challenges in that area. Um, but you're going to surpass all of this. Okay, you're going to overcome all of this. You're going to be victorious. Like, I truly see that and feel that for you. So whatever your story is, because you know your story, okay, whether it's bringing a child in, whether it's um removing arguments that were rooted from past traumas or past behaviors or past ways of thinking okay out of your relationship and bringing your relationship to a new beginning here or bringing releasing people from your past out of your projects or even getting rid of the people that are in your current project because they're they're kind of behaving like past peoples or past situations it not really working you come into the clarity and saying yo i'm not gonna be crazy i'm not gonna be insane i'm not gonna keep running in this same old cycle doing the same old thing i gotta make this change and when you really step into your ideas into your creative projects you are going to be fruitful you are going to be fruitful so any narcissistic energies any petty arguments any haters whatever be blind to them haters like let them you know what every evil i go blind like let them be blind to you let them let like there's a meme i love it it says um when they sleep on when they sleep on you let them sleep just fucking let them sleep don't even like entertain their pettiness don't because you're already above them you're already above that influence you're in a higher position you're in a greater position you're in a more prosperous position here okay and you're going to be all the more victorious for it and clear-minded for it. And you're going to have a better flow here is really what I'm getting. Um, and I do feel like you are divinely guided in this. So, Spirit, let me get... That's like half a deck. I'm not doing that. Let me get this Ace of Swords, please. What advices do you have in reference to this Ace of Swords for this collective reading for New Moon and Libra? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of truth, a lot of clarity. Um, anybody that was lying before is going to be shouted out. Oh, my gosh. So for some of you, it's secrets being revealed. For some of you, it's going to be some secrets being revealed, some secret haters that you might have thought was on your team. Because this definitely feels like a group of people. It doesn't necessarily feel like it's surrounded like one particular person. Um it, the only single energy I'm getting is like you as the individual and the group um, environment, okay? Kind of like trying to be, and this is all for your growth. This is all for your change. This is for you to see beyond the illusion. And Saturn going direct is really going in your favor here, okay? Saturn going direct. That's what I'm saying. Even though this is the card of Capricorn, um, I really truly feel and and Saturn is in Capricorn and Saturn does rule um, Capricorn so it's in its home place and this is also Capricorn energy here so really putting in that work for your foundation is really gonna bring you to a place of celebration y'all like don't let those petty arguments get to you cut that shit off because you are in a position where yo saturn got your back you about to you know you just got to keep working just keep working for it all right don't give up do not give up even if they don't agree with you they may not agree with you and that's why they may be trying to challenge you or they may even be intimidated by you okay so they may be trying to sidetrack you don't don't get sidetracked it because this person they don't even have control of, over their own self in a way they they think they do they know they're a powerful being. They know that they know a lot, but 
they're just not energetically in flow or in alignment with your projects here okay and this could be a person from the past okay that no longer brings you harmony or that could be your past position maybe this was you in the past and your past position here and you're rising up to a higher position because you did the work during during virgo season here okay what is this Ace of Swords? What is this Ace of Swords? I'm loving this reading and I'm super... All right, I need to hurry up. What is this Ace of Swords? There we go. Oh. I love it. All right, y'all. So we have four cards come out here. Like I said, for some of you, there's gonna, there might have been maybe even like a third party situation here and some petty arguments when it came down to this third party situation. And third party situation can be cheating. It could just be also maybe um, a friend or a family member or other people getting involved in, um, any type of union or relationships, okay? I'm getting a lot of healing here, but there was a feeling of being ganged up on here, okay? A feeling of, but you had the upper hand here, so don't forget that. You definitely had the upper hand here when it came down to this group of people ganging up on you, okay? Um, it was just feeling like you had to hold down your ground. You really have to hold down your ground or you may be needing to hold down your grounds here because you know better. You know better. This is the Hierophant here, okay? And this is like the high priest, okay? And this is like, especially with this Ace of Swords here, knowing, knowing the lesson, knowing the lesson behind it, knowing that, you have the upper hand, knowing that those were just um, opposing forces trying to battle it out with you to get into your position here, okay? Um, but really coming into a place of like learning your lesson and now moving forward as like that teacher or that, um, even if you're not teaching, just moving forward with that knowing that you learned the lessons and you can share what it is that you learned. You can share what it is that you received insight, enlightenment on. You can now share that with other people. That is Taurus energy here, okay? And Taurus is also ruled by Venus. Um, and the difference with like the Libra and Taurus energy is like Libras are airy and Taurus are very earthly. So they're more grounded. So you're going to be really grounded while really being cleared, clear minded here as above. So below, look at that. And they're going to be challenging you, but you got this, you got this. Because there's like that third party situation, those other people trying to intervene. And like I said, for some of you, it was intervening with your relationship. For some of you, it was just intervening with your heart and your minds. Okay. 
intervening with a decision because this is this is gemini energy okay this is the twins this is the lovers um and they this is also mercury energy and mercury is also in venus so we have the healing here this is beautiful okay and this is also about making a head of a heart decision okay and really coming into your healing here you're no longer fighting you're no longer resisting you're no longer in that deep pain this was very painful you had to let it go though you had to walk away look at that you had to walk away for this new beginning here you had to walk away for this new beginning here because it was no longer serving you it was no longer serving you it was no longer serving you. It was an injustice. <laughs> it was an injustice here. And for some of you, this is not going to go up until you let it go. Then there will be balance here. But these people here were serving as an imbalance, as an injustice. It's really try to prevent you from getting to your new beginning here. All right. They were really, really like, this really feels like opposing forces really targeting you from advancing into something greater, um, a path that's greater, that's going to bring you in harmony with your masculine and feminine side. Um, for some of you, it could have been you, you really needed to let go of some thought processes, okay, because it wasn't really connecting you with maybe your your masculine side here, okay? Maybe your feminine side was more in tune than your masculine side here. Um, but I really see that it, it's going to end up coming to a balance here, okay? Um, so like I said, we each have masculine and feminine energies in us, you know? So for some of you, you could have been way too logical and not really tapping into your emotions. And that was kind of blocking you from seeing more clearly, from moving ahead more divinely and balanced here, okay? Which is why you had to walk away from that, that imbalance for this new beginning here, all right? And then once you do, once they did tap into like their emotions, they brought they brought in that heal that proper healing for that proper balance here. For some of you, it was that you're too emotional, um, and you were allowing your emotions to make you overthink, and you now let that go. You balanced your emotions with your mind. You balanced your head and your heart, and you are now in balance. You're balanced with yourself. Okay, and like I said, for some of you, it was just some truth, some clarity on whether it was a third party situation and you cut that shit off. Something's getting cut off. These people are getting cut off for sure. There's a lot of threes up in here. There's a lot of fives up in here. All right. I'm going to use an angel card to close this out for advice, but I think that this is a great overall reading for you all. So, Archangels of the Living is Truth and Righteous Only, what messages do you have? What words of advice, what closing advice can you give to the collective for this new moon in Libra? For the collective, this new moon in Libra, September 28, 2019. Mm -hmm. Any other advice? And that's Archangel Razel, some say Razul, which is of the higher, like, third eye energy, you know, um, really, this is eternity here. Having infinite abundance, infinite prosperity, infinite wisdom is infinite knowingness, okay, to eternity, that you are an eternal being here, okay, being divinely connected with your feminine and masculine self here. Being in connected with your true source. Being balanced. This is beautiful. Any other messages for the collective to close this out? Oh, yeah. 
Yep. <laughs> and in the bottom of the deck, we got Gabriel that came out twice here, okay? So we have Illumination with Insight. You are being divinely guided by this. And meditation is your best friend. Lots and lots of awakenings, clarity, insight, illumination. Because you are a child of the most high. Your light is about to be shining so bright. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Oh my God, any challenges that may try to arise at this time, if this stuff didn't already happen, this petty shit, it's so petty because it's so little and you're so big. Oh, this is so beautiful. I hope that this reading resonates with you. If it does, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, share this video if you feel that it will help others. Leave any comments below if this did resonate with you or does resonate with you or even if it's just bits and pieces. Please let me know how it resonated with you. I would love to hear about your journey. I would love to hear about your insight, about this clarity, about the truth that's going to be revealed, this illumination here, about, you know, the coming together of the lovers here, all right, this healing. I would love, love, love to hear back from you all, okay? If you aren't subscribed to my channel already and you feel like I can definitely bring on to you the type of energy it is that you are looking for, please subscribe to my channel now. I thank you all for being with me in this time and space. Until next time, namaste. Peace.